In this video, we are going to solve the system of equation taken from AIME 2006 with some geometry. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. So to solve the system of um, radicals quickly, I'm going to consider a triangle with side, with side lengths x, y, and z. Something like this, x, y, and z. Now the reason that I can do this is that, say, for example, for the first equation, the first term is less than y, of course, because it's smaller than square root of y squared, and for the second term is more than z. And using a similar argument, I can say y is also less than z plus x, and for the third equation, that implies z is less than x plus y. And so from this, we know that x, y, and z, our solutions, must satisfy the triangle inequality. And this means those numbers can form side lengths of a, a certain triangle. Now from this, because we know that, for example, for the, from the second equation, let's take y equals the sum of those two square roots. I can tell that the altitude corresponding to the side with length y from here should have length to be equal to one fifth, because for Pythagoras theorem, say um, maybe I can just put away the one fifth yet first, and say it's called h. Then by Pythagoras theorem, we know that x squared minus h squared square root all square root is equal to this part with this as the length while for the other other part is z squared minus h squared that's the second part and so total length of this should be y and if you compare this equation with the one highlighted in yellow and you know that h can only be um, 1 over 5 because um, the right hand side basically um, changes in one single direction as h changes. And so that means this is 1 fifth. When we use a similar argument, I can further deduce that, say, the length of the altitude corresponding to the side with length x is 1 should have length to be equal to um, 1 over 4 while for the third altitude corresponding to the side with length z over here that should have length 1 6 now from this we can quickly tell the ratio between x, y, and z. So we're going to deduce that x times 1 fourth over 2, that is actually the area, and it's actually the same as y times 1 fifth all divided by 2, z times 1 sixth all divided by 2. And so simplifying, you know that we know that and the ratio between x, y, and z should be 4 to 5 to 6. So that I can let x equal to um, 4 times some constant, I call it k, with k to be a positive constant. Then from this, y has to be 5k and z has to be 6k.
and I'm going to consider the area once again. So because x equals 4k, then the area should be 4k times 1 fourth, the height is 1 over 4, over 2 is the area. Now we can use Heron's formula. So semi-perimeter is 4 plus 5 plus 6 all divided by 2. So it's 15 over 2 times k. And subtracting this by 4k, 5k, 6k, we do this one by one and multiply them all together. We'll have 7k over 2 when we minus x. We have 5k over 2 and minus y. And 3k over 2 and minus z. So then simplifying k over 2 equals 15 root 7 over 4 times k squared. We know that k is a positive constant, so we can just um, cancel out 1k on both sides. So that means k equals 2 over 15 times root 7. So from this, we can quickly calculate that x is just 4 times that. And after rationalizing, we have 8 root 7 over 105. y equals 2 root 7 over 21. And finally, z equals to, um, that's actually 4 over 5 root 7, so 4 root 7 over 35. And so these are our final answers to the system of equations. Please feel free to share ideas in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you next time.